Encouraging dynamic presentations and maximum audience and classroom participation, Hitachi recently introduced the new FX Duo Multi-Touch Interactive Whiteboard and CPA100 Short Throw Projector with applications in education and business environments. Here to tell us more is Jeet Dinza, Marketing Communications Specialist with Hitachi Software. Hello, my name is Jeet Dinza and I'm with Hitachi Software. Today I'm going to be showing you a next generation interactive whiteboard, the Hitachi Starboard FX Duo 77. We're also going to be talking about our new ultra short throw projector, the CPA100, which is mounted here above our new interactive whiteboard. Now this is a breakthrough in interactive whiteboard technology. As you can see, our projector is very close uh, to our whiteboard here, which really reduces the shadow. As you can see, I'm moving my arms here. I'm not casting a shadow on the screen, which was a previous limitation with other interactive whiteboards, where a projector would be on a table or, or ceiling mounted. I can also stand directly in front of the board and control my application without worrying about casting a shadow and not seeing what I'm doing. So the other advantage is that I can face my students, I can face my audience. Uh, if I'm doing a training session, if this is a, a, a conference, uh, I can face my audience without having any projector glare shining right into my eye. Our interactive whiteboards have been around for a while. Uh, they've actually been around since the uh, early 90s. And uh, they're very cool, but there's also some limitations with some of the existing interactive whiteboards and technology. Hitachi has overcome a lot of these limitations and shortcomings with the new uh, Starboard FX77 Duo. Uh, one of the features that we're really proud about is that this surface itself, as opposed to other interactive whiteboards, is electronics free. There's no electronics in this surface. It's uh, simply uh, a hard uh, plastic surface. It's actually magnetic, so you can place magnets on this surface if the board was off and say you wanted to display a chart, a map, you know, just so that it's not in your room just taking up space when you're not using it. It's still sort of a purpose. Um, the other advantages of having no electronics uh, in the screen is that it's very robust. It can take damage, it can take dents, cuts, you can even drill a hole through this board and it will still operate and it will still function. The key to that is that all the electronics are contained in this top removable sensor. There are two cameras, one here and one in that corner uh, emitting a, an infrared uh, light and it's being trapped along this uh, bezel here. There's a reflective tape and when our finger uh, penetrates this infrared grid here, it triangulates uh, where our finger is. This is our starboard software right here. It's a floating toolbar that floats on top of uh, all your applications. It's very customizable. Right now I'm pulling one of the two telescoping pens that come with our board. It's a metal pen. There is no electronic functions of this pen at all. If you lose it, you can simply use your finger, order a replacement pen from any store, or order it from us at Hitachi Software. Now the toolbar, when I say it's customizable, you can move it anywhere you want. It, it really conforms to you. You don't have to be restricted to any type of software application. Right now I put it horizontal. If I want to stretch it out, I simply stretch it out. I could put it at the top of my screen if I have some content here and I don't want to compete with the real estate of my content. And collapse that menu back and it's drag and drop customization. I don't like this pen per se, I can just drag it off. If I want to put a new pen on there, say this red one, I just drag it on. This toolbar can be saved as a profile so I can have my own personal customized toolbar. Another instructor, another teacher, another uh, presenter can have their own toolbar. A student can have their own toolbar. Also, the software functions can be controlled from these 24 customizable function buttons. There's 12 buttons along this side and 12 buttons along that side. Another unique and exciting feature about our board is that it's a multi-touch uh, in the sense that it allows up to two inputs. Uh, there are other multi-touch devices out there. Multi-touch has actually uh, you know, been around for a while. It's been explored in the 80s, but now it's, it's had a recent resurgence, um, especially with the type of computers that we have available today. So let's go and uh, show that feature off here. So I'm just gonna load up a science diagram. Here's one of the digestive system. Now there are other interactive devices that allow uh, multi-input, but they require uh, electronic pens. Uh, with the Hitachi Starboard FX Duo, we can naturally use our hands. It's a little bit more intuitive, and also can take a static diagram like this and really bring it to life. So if I was a teacher showing this diagram, maybe I want to zoom in and show this, the process of the digestive system. So I just zoomed into my image here. Maybe I want to select a clip art. Um, 
type of learning object that I have. Hitachi offers over 5,000 different background templates, learning objects, and so forth. Um, in our next release of software, we'll be having Macromedia Flash objects. Here's our Apple, and we're probably going to take it down to the digestive system, and maybe with my students, I'd be, you know, we'd be saying the parts and the, and the different parts of the system out loud. So we take, we take our Apple, we go down the esophagus, an involuntary muscle movement, brings it down here to the stomach to continue the digestion, the digestion process. And maybe at this point, maybe I want to, uh, to zoom out and pick up my pen here and <coughs> get rid of my pink highlighter there, get my red pen, and draw an arrow and ask my students, you know, what, okay, what part of the system that we're at that might respond stomach. I might cue one of my students to come approach the board and, and do that annotation or share that answer with the rest of the class. Because when you show this type of technology uh, to kids and to students or to participants, they want to get up and they want to, to be involved in the presentation and also uh, interact. So we can put the... Uh, Put the word stomach here. We, there's some different properties. We can resize it, uh, change the color, and so forth uh, by loading this object properties menu here. Uh, I can change the width of my the pen of that. So some very cool feature, features. If I want to convert that into text, I can snap that into text. Um, to scroll, I just simply use my fist. So here I'm scrolling this application. As you saw earlier, what I was doing when I was going down the digestive system. The other advantage of the FX Duo's touch technology is the type of software that can be developed to utilize the two inputs and the two touches. This is a sample application that we have right now that we're exploring. And for example, we can take something that we were doing before, maybe not even using any type of digital technology. Say for example, if I'm an ad agency, and I have three advertising concepts. Now, maybe I want to show these images, but before, I would probably have a mouse, click on a corner, and drag it out. But now the interface becomes a lot more intuitive to zoom in, to zoom out, to resize, to rotate, to move objects around. So say we have three advertising concepts that we want to explain. Here's our first ad here. Here's our second ad. And here's our third advertisement here. We can... Uh, move them around, drag them up, put them side by side so that you kind of get a, a nice idea of how they look. And then say my team here, we're, we're looking at these advertisements and we're trying to collaborate and say, you know, uh, maybe this copy here, it's, it's very snappy, but maybe we can, you know, make it a little bit, a little bit better. Maybe we should work on that and write their comments and capture their comments and feedback.